Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with WTF USA. Where's the fish? Where's the food? Where's the fun? What the frack? This is our new intro. Um, if you see my videos and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I can't tell you how much it helps. And just, you know, keeps, keeps me plugging along, putting videos out, you know, doing something when there isn't much else I can do. And uh, if you've already subscribed, thanks again. I love you all. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hey, what's up, guys? We got some more food here today. We did some delicious venison tacos and venison roast yesterday. And today, we're going to take our leftover taco meat. And turn this into breakfast burritos. Or something close, because we don't really have a lot of accoutrements with it. But, you know what? They're right. So we can literally just take our hamburger meat, throw it in here, break it up a little bit. Anybody that knows hamburger meat, especially this uh, taco seasoning, it dries out real easy. So we're going to take, and we got to remember, remember that venison doesn't have all that extra fat. It kind of leaves it as a preservative, so... We're going to throw some butter in there. And just a little bit of this beef broth. You know what? We got to use this beef broth up too. So. And you know, this is just going to make sure everything is. nice and rehydrated um, it's I mean it's soaking all, all, all up any moisture so it's not like this is gonna make this watery or anything like that now later this week after we go buy groceries, I'm going to do a little bit more of an in-depth video. I'm actually going to do like a homemade mac and cheese of some kind. Um, I think that will be delicious. Alright. And you know what? This hamburger meat, we just throw it in right away with this to get it going. We don't need to worry about doing anything more than getting it warm. And since we're adding eggs and other stuff, we're still going to be cooking this for a little bit. It doesn't hurt to Now what I've done, I've just all scooted all the meat over. For right now into one corner because we're gonna go ahead and uh the amount of hamburger I got end up doing four eggs. Now I'm not going to eat this all for breakfast, but I tell you what, just because it says breakfast burritos, like I'll eat this all day long.
eggs are frying up. Just fine. And you know what? You can just drop them in there, break the yolks, kind of give it a little stir. You don't have to do a lot. We're going to turn around. And then start giving it a little mix here. The eggs are partially cooked and now a little... with the amount of hamburger we had we could have probably added another egg or two we still had a bit of hamburger left but you know what this is still going to turn out all right we're actually at the point we can turn this heat way down doesn't take long it's like i said we let the eggs partially cook before it started mixing in the hamburger still had heat in it obviously Well, and I can tell that taco seasoning and everything. Mm. But we put eggs in there. Distilled out a little bit of garlic. And Alan loves garlic. And uh, get a little bit of do a little bit of that. Oh, a little overshot with that. Well, a couple, couple gushes of the old garlic hot sauce and you know what true culinary master stroke mild sauce packets from Taco Bell because you know what it's what we got right now That's just to get a little bit more of a coating over the meat and cheese. Well, meat and eggs. We're about to add the cheese. And you know what we're about to do here. We're about to get messy. There's the cheddar. There's the mozzarella. And because that was the end of a bag of cheddar, definitely not enough. I'm going to do about half and half. Once again, we got a lot of meat. We've got four eggs in here. We can add a chunk of cheese. around drop the top on there clean up our station to be seen he wants to be seen this is Merlin say hi kitty yeah he just wants to be on top of everything but yes especially since there's food stuff happening in the kitchen you know he he wants to know all about that isn't that right Mercat? Throw a little bit more of that beef broth in. And, uh, oh yeah.
Yep, that's definitely ready to be eaten. Like always. Kiss our shells with a little bit of fire. Get them nice and soft. And once again, if I had mushrooms, I don't like a lot of things, but I mean, I would definitely have salsa in here. I would have mushrooms in here. You could put green peppers in here. You could put, I mean, you could put bacon in here, which I would if I had bacon. You would do all sorts of things, but yes, this is it. Oh, and you can see that cheese. Just hang in there. Go give you Hmm. You know right away looks like smooth like mozzarella the cheddar comes get a little bit of that taco seasoning left over still catching a little bit of that lime in there a little like little tinge of that garlic hot sauce in there but otherwise, that's it. That's a super easy breakfast. Leftovers from last night. You know, honestly, I could have broke this up into half the hamburger, knowing I was just cooking food for myself and trying not to eat like a pig. Only did half of this as breakfast burrito stuff. Use the other half of the hamburger for like a homemade hamburger helper type deal um, but don't worry we've got a uh, another recipe for you guys later more like you guys watching me cook food and eat food I know I enjoy cook watching people eat food on TV so hopefully you guys enjoy watching me make food try food every once in a while hey if you ever want to come here and think, hey, I want to be there when Alan does one of his recipes and does be a taste tester. I like cooking for people, other people, more than I like cooking for myself. But, there you go, guys. Uh, that's our breakfast burrito. I'm going to eat this so I can have another one. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back later on today. Hopefully with, uh, you know, another recipe, a little more content. All right, have a good one, guys.